Okay, I put, I clipped the capacitor off right here. Now, running it without the capacitor, probably not a good idea, but I just clipped it off of there. Put the old 35W4 back in there. Whoa. There's activity going on inside the tube itself. Inside the 35W4, I saw sparking. So, let's just, before it blows out, see if we can't measure some voltages. First, I want to come off of resistance, and let's just look at our B+, plus if we can get to it, which is, at this point in time, I'm going to go to the 200 scale, go to the capacitor ground, and pin set pin 7. Now I got 115. Who knows, that capacitor could have been dragging, dragging me down all along. That's off the tube, but that I saw that thing flashing inside, so I know it can't be too good. And the audio amplifier is doing something. Uh, the radio antenna is disconnected, so I can't go on an AM radio station and see what it does under current. I'm going to go measure the voltage at pin 1 and 7. Again. And uh, I'm sorry, not 1 and 7. I'm going to go to AC volts. 200. Pins 3 and 4. And I've got 39.8 on a 35W4. Between 4 and 6. And I've got 12 volts. So now that tube is putting out the way it should, except I saw it sparking inside. Okay, the 50C5, 3 and 4. It's hard to get these to make the connection to these. And right now, no matter how much, there we finally, 45.3 volts. 12AV6, 12.6 volts. Uh, the IF amplifier, 12.0, and the mixer oscillator. Six point four volts. Line voltage is one hundred twenty one point five. Sounds like there's an AM radio station there, but it's it's on record player, so. I guess that's the pins on the 12 AV6 are dirty. Yeah. If I went over to radio, we have only one radio station in the area anyway, so without the antenna, I'm not going to pick up anything. In any event, burned up a tube and don't like to do that. 